All right, well, right now, Brush Country Casa is looking for community volunteers as it gets ready for upcoming training dates. And joining me live is Brush Country Casa Outreach Director, Miss Nicole Ortega. Good Nicole, morning. thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much for having us. Yes, so we're excited to talk to you uh, about uh, what's going on right now. But first of all, go ahead and talk to me about your service area where you guys uh, specifically service. So we service Clayburg, Duval, Jemmels, Brooks, and Kennedy County. So we're looking for advocates in that area. And so how many volunteers are needed right now? Right now I have 74 children that are being served by CASA. We don't have volunteers to cover them. So right now I need at least 20 volunteers in this volunteer class to kind of get us where we need to be. And so, um, you know, what are the requirements? I know a lot of people were saying, you know, they may be a little iffy whether to do this or not. I know that this is a big decision yeah. when it comes to, um, you know, of course, fostering somebody or going and becoming a, a, a volunteer with CASA. So tell, tell me what are the requirements needed? So really it's only 20, you have to be 21 years of age or older. You have to have a clear criminal background and you have to have a heart for giving back to children. This isn't difficult work, it's hard work. So that's really all you need. Um, anybody with any walk of life can come and join our group. And I think that's so important to note is, you know, there's so many kids that are looking for a home right now um, or maybe just looking for, um, you know, that sense of home, yeah. that sense of uh, a friendship between somebody and that volunteer can become that. Now, once that person becomes a volunteer, mm -hmm. you know, what resp responsibilities will they have? That's wonderful. The, a great question. We are appointed by the judge to gather information regarding a child's circumstances. We have access to their teachers, doctors, therapists. Our goal is to identify their unmet needs and then advocate for those needs to be met in court. Now, I know a lot of people also may be asking, are these trainings free? Um, is there any type of scholarships available, available for this? But I uh, I think the big question is, is it free? It's completely free. Volunteer training and all of the background checks associated are completely covered. And so how many children are assigned to each volunteer? One child or one sibling group. Okay, so that's that's a, that's good. That's yeah. good enough to kind of um, have that one-to-one uh, -one experience with them, Absolutely. Right? It gives us the opportunity to spe specifically work with that family and identify their unmet needs and, and really advocate for them on a personal level. And so right before we go, uh, go ahead and talk to me about um, how people can get in contact with you guys. Great. So you can visit us at our website, brushcountrycasa.org org or call us 595-7233 and we'd be happy to get you going. All right, Nicole, thank you so much. Thank and you. Uh, folks, we'll be posting this again on our website. That's christv.com.